Thank you very much. For the past two months, we've mounted a campaign never seen in the history of this party since 1992. There has been a total mobilization of the party with each single party member finding work to do to contribute towards the removal of the elephant from office. I just come to thank all of you, national executive members, current and former, regional executive committee members, constituency executive committee members, branch executive committee members, and all soldiers. But I just want to remind you that it is not over until it is over. This far we've done very well. But we need to crown our effort by continuing the mobilization to urge people to go and cast their votes. And after that vote has been cast, let us mobilize to protect that vote until it results into a declaration. I've gone through all 16 regions of Ghana, visiting over 200 constituencies across the regions. And the message is loud and clear. That message, which I want to deliver to His Excellency, John Dramani Mahama, is that the people of Ghana have decided to return you back to the presidency, whether you like it yourself or not. And there is another message. And that is that Ghanaians want majority, absolute majority of our candidates elected into parliament because there's a lot of work to be done. We need a strong majority to be able to undertake the institutional reforms that are necessary to reset this democracy. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the elephant knows this. Nana Kufado and his team are riding on the back of a tiger. They fear to get down, otherwise they could be devolved. But tell them that the longer they remain at the back of the tiger, they will still die anyway because they will die of hunger and thirst. And so, the message is clear. Let them get down and face the consequences of their own actions for the past eight years. But they are very, very unrepentant. Even with only 48 hours remaining, they still want to conduct themselves with impurity. Everywhere in the past one week, wherever NDC has been trying to organize a function, they use state powers to undermine that. But let them understand this message that whether we hold a rally or we don't hold a rally, the people of Ghana have decided. And the decision is that John Dramani Mahama is the next president of the Republic of Ghana. is a 
on the verge of making history. The National Democratic Congress is going to be the first political party in the history of this country that will generate the first female vice president of the Republic of Ghana. And it's already happening live. But finally, ladies and gentlemen, I want to urge you, all of a sudden, MPP itself have found reason to campaign for President John Dramani Mahama and to campaign and urge you to work and campaign against our parliamentary candidates. Tell them that we have seen through all their tricks. President Mahama is going back into office with a solid majority in parliament. We are not going to fall for the tricks of the uh, skirt and blouse people. We are voting President Mahama and voting our parliamentary candidates. And standing here and having worked with the 276 parliamentary candidates of this party across the country, I am convinced that we are returning back into office with a very strong majority in parliament. I want to thank all the parliamentary candidates for the hard work they have put in so far. I want to thank all the uh, party executives from Nesra to food soldiers. I thank you very much for being part of this total mobilization of NDC. But let us crown it with a solid vote and then be prepared to defend the people's verdict. I don't want to go on anymore because you have work to do tomorrow to prepare for the due day. So let me reserve the rest of what I have to say so that we will meet again. We will surely meet again with a bigger gathering than this. And that day will be a day of celebration. That day will be a day of the celebration of the independent, second independence of this country. I am not talking about policy again, but as far as I'm concerned, the reset of our state institutions, our institutions of governance, our institutions of accountability, our institutions that manage the natural resources of this country, it, they are resetting is far more important than isolated development projects. And so, for the first year, I urge all of you to let us focus on resetting the institutions of governance and democracy in this country. If we get the institutions right, then any development that we undertake will be lasting. But if we rush, and leave the institutions in their rotten state like this, no development will survive. I thank you all, and may God bless you. We'll meet again.